So in this video, we are going to learn how to create active campaign contacts from new MySQL row. Now suppose guys, you are using active campaign as an email marketing application for your business and you are adding or you are getting some new lead details or new contact details from various sources and you are adding them into your MySQL database. Now you want that all the user details or the contact details of a user is added in MySQL. You want to add those details, you want to add those people as contacts in active campaign. So this automation is going to help you a lot. Using this automation, whenever a new row will be added with the user details in our MySQL table, automatically with the same details, a contact will be created in our active campaign account. If you want to know how you can use and set up this automation, for that, you just have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, here we are on Public Connect dashboard. Now to reach this dashboard, you will get a free sign up link of Public Connect in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can create your free Public Connect account in just two minutes. And after reaching to this dashboard, just click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. For example, I would like to name my workflow as MySQL to active campaign. And then just click on create. Now you can see that a workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with the trigger window. Now the idea here is first we have to connect our MySQL database with Public Connect so that every time a new row of user details is added, a new contact details is added in MySQL, automatically the details of that new row of that new contact will be received inside Public Connect. And after that, using Public Connect, we are going to send those new row details, new contact details to Active Campaign to create a new contact over there with the MySQL data. So let's see how it is done. Now here in trigger window in Choose App, search for MySQL. Just select it. And then in trigger event from the drop down, select new row in a table as the trigger event. Then just click on connect and select add new connection. Now here guys, we have to connect our MySQL account with Public Connect. And to make this connection, we have to enter the database username, database password, host, the database and the port of our MySQL account. So here guys, if you have created your own MySQL storage, MySQL server or database, you must have all of these details. You just have to enter these details over here and click on save to connect your MySQL database with Public Connect. Right now, I have already connected my MySQL account. So I'm just selecting the existing connection and click on save. And after clicking on save, we will see our MySQL account will get connected with Public Connect. After making this connection, the first thing it asks us is the table name. So here in my MySQL database, I have created three tables over here. And you can see a list of three tables in this drop down. Here we have to select the table from which the data of a new row we want to get inside Public Connect. The data from which table we want to use to create contact in Active Campaign. So I have this table named as new contacts. And from this particular table, I want to get the details of the user. So here in this drop down, select that particular table over here. After selecting the table, it is asking us for the unique column. The help text says, select unique primary key columns so we can fetch new updated records properly. Usually you need to select the unique ID column over here. So we have to select a column in which every time the details or the data of a new user will be unique. So we have this column of ID and ID will be a unique column for each and every row added in our database. So from this drop down, we are going to select this ID as the unique column. Now after this, when we will click on this save and send test request button, the details of the last row, the most recent row which was added in our MySQL database, this table, will be received inside Pabli Connect. So here in MySQL, you can see that we have one row of data right now, that is the name of the user is demo user. This is the email and this is the mobile number. Now when we will click on this save and send test request inside Pabli Connect, the details of the same row, the most recently added last added row will be received inside our Public Connect workflow. And yes, here in response, you can see the same details, same first name, same last name, same mobile number, same ID and the same email address. This means the connection between MySQL and Public Connect is working perfectly fine. And using this connection, 
every one hour guys public and will check for new data in our mysql database and in last one hour whatever new data new rows are added in our mysql database in that particular table all of that data will be received inside public connect and then this automation workflow will process and using it will create a new contact using those details in active campaign so the connection between mysql and public connect is a polling based connection that is why public connect will check for new data in our mysql account every one hour so here guys, the step one of setting up this automation is completed. We have successfully connected our MySQL account and received the details of a new row in our workflow. Now using these details, which we have received from MySQL, we want to send these details using public connect to active campaign to create a new contact over there. For that, just scroll down, come to our action window and in choose app, search for active campaign. Just select it. After selecting active campaign in action event from the drop down, select create or update contact and then just click on connect, select add new connection. So here guys, we have to connect our active campaign account with Pavli connect. And to make this connection, we have to enter the API key and the URL of our active campaign account. So here you must be thinking how you can get this API key and URL. You just have to follow the help text given below over here guys. Just go to your active campaign account. From the left sidebar, just go to settings and go to developers option over here. At this developers page, you will get the URL and the API key of your active campaign account. Just copy this API key from here, go to public connect and paste it over here. After that, copy the URL as well and paste the URL over here too. Below URL guys, here you can see another help text which says we have to enter this URL without this HTTPS colon double forward slash. So just clear it from here and then just click on save. So with the API key and the URL of our active campaign account, we are going to connect it with Pavli Connect. After making this connection, the first thing it asks us is the email. That the contact which we want to create in active campaign, what is the email address of that contact? So we have received the email address of the user of the contact from our MySQL database responses in the trigger window. So from this trigger responses, we have to map this response of email over here in this field. And guys, the process of mapping is very simple. Simply click on this field and here in the drop down, you will see a list of all the responses which we have received from MySQL. Out of all of these responses, select this response of email and map it over here. After mapping the email, the next thing it asks us is the first name. So we have also received the first name, last name and the mobile number of the user from MySQL. So from these trigger responses, one by one, we are going to map those details as well. Just click here and from the drop down from MySQL responses, select the response of first name and map it. Then after that, from this drop down, map the last name as well and also the phone number. Here it is. After mapping all of these details, it is asking us tag ID, list and account ID. So these fields are not mandatory, not required. So you can ignore these fields for now. And then just click on save and send test request. Now, when we click on save and send test request, we will get some response in return from active campaign. Let's wait for it. And yes, here you can see that we have received this response from active campaign. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that the data which we have mapped over here, basically the details of a user which we have received from MySQL, using these details, this user is added as a new contact in Active Campaign. So let's check it. We will go to our Active Campaign account, go to Contacts page, and yes, here you can see that the same user, demo user, whose details were added in our MySQL database. The same user is added in our active campaign account as a new contact with the same name, same email and same mobile number. So this means guys, the automation workflow, which we have created in this video using public connect is working perfectly fine. And using this automation, whenever a new row of data will be added in a table in our MySQL database, using those same details, a new contact will be created in active campaign. Now guys, after setting up this automation, let's test this automation workflow once in real time. So in our MySQL database, we are going to enter the details of a new user. Let's go to insert and let's enter the details. For example, the name is test user. This is the email address. And this is the mobile number, a dummy mobile number. And let's add these details. So in our MySQL database, just now we have added the details of a new user. 
After adding these details, we will see within one hour, the same user will be added as a new contact in our active campaign account. So here guys, what we have to do, we just have to wait for one hour because the connection of MySQL and Pabli Connect is polling based connection and Pabli Connect will check for new data every one hour. So let's wait. Okay, so we have successfully waited for one hour. Let's check our active campaign account and refresh this contact page once. And yes, guys, here you can see that test user, the same user whose details we have added in our MySQL database, that same user has been added as a new contact with the same details in our active campaign account. This means the automation workflow which we have created in this video is working perfectly fine. And using this automation, all the new record, all the new data in a row which we are adding in our MySQL database, in our MySQL table, using those details, you can automatically create or add those users as a new contact in active campaign. So not just these applications, you can connect plenty of other applications with Pabli Connect. And one more important thing, you will find the clone link of this exact same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone the same workflow into your own Pabli Connect account and use this automation workflow for free. If you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can post them on forum.pabli.com. So if this video was helpful to you, you can obviously like this video, comment down to your suggestion and don't forget to share it with others. So guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.